How much time passed? That's an important question. Hopefully not too much because I'm I'm on the edges of getting too much stuff already. Because if the next cave has like 500 sparkling in it, that's all that I can do. I'll have to start another file. Uh, let me put those back. It's an odd choice to have it just give it automatically, but it's, I guess, helpful. But I don't always need the Pikmin types that I can't reproduce. Uh, I guess that path technically allows us to get to another dungeon without touching the ground. So let me try that one next. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't thought this through. Unless it does need you to go to another jump platform thing. It might need you to jump. Also, if I'm close enough to this guy, we can actually see that he has a time, like a timepiece icon thing. So maybe it's like a timed dungeon thing? Or like a ch like, I don't know. That's just something to think about. Also, yes, this is something we have to jump for. Uh, well, I'm here already. <laughs> Maybe. I kind of think I might want Ice Pikmin for that though, so I'm gonna come back to that. I just need to hurry up. Time moves a lot faster right here, so. So I think the next place I want to go to is way back near the start, and then we can go to that one up there. And then we can go to the, the big dungeon thing. Possibly. Do I want to move base? I don't think so. It might be helpful, but I'm just going to leave it as it is for the moment. Hectic Hollow. Someone or something built a rough wall inside the cave. The Pikmin and I were able to scramble up, but Moss was unable to climb up the wall. I have to leave her behind for now and hope we can find a way or a place to meet up. Interesting. So there are walls that the captains can climb that Ochi cannot. Oh, this looks bad. Maybe. It's got water in there. It's probably fine. Uh, suggested types. Let's go with those. Let's go. Red Pikmin or Nice Pikmin? I like that they can just set that as we go in. Rescues and treasure. Interesting. Just making sure I keep track of what's in the dungeons as well. It's really silent as we go into these places. I think that's probably a good thing, though. Really sets the atmosphere. Right. Also, there are mushrooms that we can break by throwing a Pikmin directly on top of. Otherwise, they'll just break it, probably. Interesting. There are Pikmin up there doing stuff. Some ice Pikmin. There's also a lot of bulb wolves in here. Also, we haven't had a boss yet inside of a dungeon. That's probably good. Also... Ice Pikmin, right, because that's how we can deal with the water. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Also curious, very curious. I guess we can also jump up this ledge, which probably helps a lot. Also, I forgot I can just press Y. Don't have to hold it. Also, that didn't work very well, did it? That didn't work at all. Okay, well, let's figure out what we want to do here. Let's, um, hang on. Let me go into a better spot for this because I don't want them to take the hide, hides back. Disband. Did that disband everything? I think it did. I want to grab these. Interesting that it didn't pick this up automatically. That's probably a good thing, though. Uh, how much did this need? Hang on, it says 10. Okay. So if we put 10 Ice Pikmin in here, it freezes. Wow, how amazing is that? The water froze almost instantaneously. Now you can travel right across the top. I don't know if you have to throw the Pikmin in or if uh, it needs other stuff. Also, I don't know if I can get those Pikmin back. I mean, I probably can. I might have to pluck them, though. This allows us to get our Redis across, though. Which means we can get that back. I probably shouldn't call these back immediately, but that's fine. Uh, what is 
this? Oh, is this a wall we have to build? Oh, so that's how we can probably get to the other thing across the, the blue onion. Because we can... But we need more ice pigment, which we're doing right now, so that's fine. Oh, does that just stay frozen? Oh, not for forever? No, it does break. Okay. So we need to be a little bit careful about that. So we can actually build these walls. Interesting. Fascinating. Like, really fascinating. Like, obviously there's gonna be more things to build, but I wasn't expecting us to be able to climb- like, build things we can climb. That's gonna be super helpful. Last one. There we go. Let's climb up with our Pikmin. Going to need to be careful here. Let's see if I can freeze it. Almost. There we go. It it froze. Don't just stand there. Now's your chance. I think I've already had that, but I'm not on this file. Anyway. We don't get the the corpse back if we do it destroy it like that though, so we need to be we have to think through what we're doing. Which, at the moment, since I don't really want the carcasses, is fine. But not all, not all the enemies are going to get frozen because it takes some time. Uh, let me finish this up. It is nice the way that that works. Go, 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 break it, break it, break it, break it, it's accelerating! Oh hey, nice, the other half of the doll. Or a doll, anyway. <laughs> Given what it is, it's probably going to have a lot more to it. I think we're probably going to want Ochi back now. So let me get that. Because I'm assuming it's going to want us to jump up something or something like that. Something along those lines is probably what it wants us to do. Okay, we've reached a thousand sparklium. A little bit concerning. Let me also get a few more materials back. I mean, we probably don't need every material we'll ever see. There's so many. Or maybe we will, actually. Maybe that's why there's so much, is we're gonna need a lot at some point. It's just gonna increase... ...dramatically how much we need to unlock stuff, maybe. I'm guessing, anyway. Was there anything in that? Or is it just... ...hydro jelly? Guess it was just hydro jelly. Ah, uh, but that seems to be everything on this floor, then. By the looks of it. Yes. Let me just see what's in these. Should I get any other Pikmin that need flowering? I don't think so. Also, there's that there. Hang on. Don't do that yet. Drink up! There we go. Look how fast the flower Pikmin is, though. It's so fast. Like, a lot faster than a, a leaf Pikmin. Anyway, let's go deeper, I guess. I'm really enjoying these caves. It's a good thing I decided to keep doing this demo. The full game, though, is looking like it's going to be big, maybe, hopefully. Okay. There's a, there's a castle up there. Also looks like, uh, that pot's rattling, so there's something inside of that. That's how we've known there's Pikmin inside of it before, but I don't know if that's always going to be the case. Sometimes they might actually have enemies in them. Maybe? That's a guess, not a statement. I'm a little bit concerned by my understanding of video games and the possibilities that they might imply. So it looks like there's a base underneath this. I think? Or something? I saw an icon. A little highlight. I want to find out. I was wrong. Oh, oh, hello! Oh no, it got some- No! Our first losses? Oh, it, yeah, it got an Ice Pikmin. Also, it looks like when Ice Pikmin get eaten, 
they also freeze the enemy that ate them. That's our first loss, though. That's a shame. I didn't see it because of all the pots. Also, how am I supposed to reach that? Um... Can I just reach it, or do I need... Yellow Pikmin? Have I been fooled this whole time? Also, stop it! Ah! <laughs> this one thing! It's not even on the platform. Is it moving, or is it just stuck there? I think it's just stuck there. Drink up, Pikmin. Why did that... That was weird. There we go. I still don't know if I can reach that. Unless there's another thing I can build. This might have been a trick, a trap. Please. How do I reach that? Does it work better like that? It might. Okay, cool. I don't know if I can target this guy there. I can't get above him to target him. Oh, hey, I can actually just do this, can't I? Because he's on the edge. There we go. I understand now. Eventually. I got there eventually. Also, this is a very interesting thing. Is this fine? Yes, it is. Okay, treasure collected. Now let's find out who this is. Look who we have here! Hey! Dingo from Orai. That looks like one of us. An officer who excels at solo missions. He's not a uh, joiner by nature, but he'll show up and lend his physical abilities when need be. Huh? I knew it! I knew he was uh, tough enough to make it. Dingo is a uh, skilled ranger. Even though he doesn't use a, spe uh, a rescue pup, he specializes in solo missions, you see. Aww. One thing's for certain, rescue missions should be a lot easier with his help. Found the ranger. Now the only uh, people out there are the doctor and the pilot. Interesting. I think that's everything in this dungeon though, so we can leave. It's so sad that we've lost our first Pikmin. There was no time to react. I mean, I could have done better probably, but I didn't see it. Pop drive up. We can probably upgrade that now. Mama doll head, empty vase. Vase, I don't know. Aspiration ritual pole. Cool. I think we're just below the limit of our uh, Sparklium. 1,221. Okay, so it's not as close as I thought, but it's still pretty close now. Especially since we still have two more dungeons left, or three. Two or three dungeons left. Oh, we can actually probably freeze that water to get into that other dungeon. So yeah, we have three dungeons left, probably. I might want to actually end this day and start a new one. Possibly. It might even be a good idea to actually go back to the title screen and save. Quite possibly. Just so I can actually keep going. No, copy. That Go to the title screen and copy so I can actually have an extra file just in case I need it. Ah, uh, but we should have enough Pikmin now. Nope. How many... I mean, I didn't even... Well, so we can move base at either of those circles. I don't know why I went to the small one. Uh, we have 28. Ah, so close. <laughs> At the very least, I might be able to do something else. Gonna have to dismount. Uh, I'm gonna have to leave you here, unfortunately. How do I... How do I want to do that? Hang on. Uh, disband. There we go. Okay, so let's see if I can actually repair this thing over this way. Because we can swim across at the very least. But can I? 
I can by looks of it. Oh, they're stopping because they get stuck in the water. Never mind, so we do need more ice pigment first. So I can freeze this water. It was a good idea, but not quite there. Unfortunately for me. But yeah, I'm gonna... I mean, I have plenty of time left, but I think it's probably best to go copy my day just in case. Exploration results, day five. Kingsley and Dingo. Brings us up to six rescues. Three pup drive. Sparkling discovered. Oh my goodness, 34%. And we don't have the enough to beat the demo. That's how much we had to beat the demo, I'm pretty sure. So we're doing really well for ourselves at the moment. We had two lost Pikmin, sadly, and they are both ice, which would have made us able to get blue Pikmin. Maybe. Oh well. If you get the onion first, it does give you a first Pikmin to build up that Pikmin type, so... Like with the yellow one, if you get that before you get yellow Pikmin in a cave, it will give you a sprout to start off. Which makes me wonder if they're going to make more onions in the future that we have to get for each part of the world. Well, Captain, we did it. We finally found our Ranger Dingo. Can't believe I had to be saved by my by the newbie. I'm losing my edge. We're just glad to see you made it back. Safe and sound, Dingo. Are you hurt at all? Oh, uh, not at all, Captain. Heh. <laughs> I'm just, uh, touched that you care. Hmm. This table does not seem to be structurally sound. It's missing screws. But Science Guy... Could stand to worry a little more. Uh, uh, that reminds me. Captain, I have no some information regarding our pilot. Really? Do you know where- do you know his whereabouts? Great work, Dingo. What? Uh, no, no. That's not exactly- You must be exhausted from all that forced- forced sleep you had. We'll go over the de details tomorrow. Go get some rest. Huh? Oh, uh, you got it, Captain. She cares about my physical state. That means she cares. Oh, before you hit the hay, please be sure to review all the details related to our rescue mission so you are fully prepared. Is that really necessary? Rescue mission day six. We're really starting to build up a, a base of operations. I mean, we already did. I just love the way that this game feels. <laughs> it's so good. Mom. Dingo, is it true you encountered our pilot while stranded? Well, uh, yeah. I ran into Bernard at some point, but then he got, like, snatched up by a leaf creature. Oh. Leaf? What? No. We saw the leaf creature pick up someone else and toss them into a big... Pup? Bernard and I tried to follow, but we were too late. They dragged the castaway into a cave, and he and suddenly there were growing leaves too. Uh, sounds familiar, kind of. Hold on, okay. I was just getting to the good part. So then the leaf creature in charge spotted us. Uh, we got uh, out of there as fast as we could. Or at least that's what I thought. When I turned around, Bernard was gone. Maybe he didn't make it out. Maybe he got turned into a leafling too. A leafling? Oh, that was... Uh, that's what me and Bernard started calling him. It's much faster to say than leafing... Leafling... Uh, say leafling than leaf creature. Catchy, isn't it? What? Or who are these leaflings? 
But first things first, we need to find and rescue our pilot. Officers, to your stations, please. Copy that. Okay, I'm gonna quickly copy the file. Just in case I need to redo something. If you want to do the same, that's what I would recommend. Just for the demo anyway, so you can explore the most possible. Okay, let's upgrade Ochi. Do some training. I think I'm going to go with Learn Command 3 so we can get him to gather Pikmin for me. I don't know how good this is going to be, but I'm going to do it anyway. So that is fully upgraded now. It might also be a good idea to get buff at some point. I don't know. Rush might be interesting. So it charges faster. Easier to strike critters moving around. Interesting. Very interesting. But anyway, another scrumming bone. And we actually get some uh, lab stuff now, some gear. Just because I've already had these. Survey drone, again. Charging horn, definitely good. And the treasure gauge, which we haven't actually been able to use much at all. Because we went too fast. Pick the carrot. Okay. So now we have a little bit more stuff to work with. Um, where is Dingo? You can all relax now. Dingo's back. I don't know what the... Uh, I don't know how the rescue corpse made it this far, this long without me. Guess I'll find out soon enough. Since the captain's making me rest up a bit before I, I get back into action. I had like an alright voice for him. For like a bit, and I can't replicate that anymore. I need to actually listen to what I sound like. <laughs> Hiya there. My name's Kingsley. I run a flower shop back at home. I actually came to this planet to find rare flowers. Then things took a turn. One second I'm gazing at glorious a glorious bud, and the next thing I know, I'm stranded. So yeah, I've had enough adventure for the time being. I don't think I'll be doing much more exploring around here. Where are all these extra captains, uh, ships? Anyway. Ready to explore. Hit you! How many captains are there gonna be? It looks like they're just gonna fill up this entire area with captains. Possibly. Well, there might be different captains for different areas of the game as well, maybe. If we ever move our ship, because I think that's the thing that we're going to do at some point. Okay. Let's go. We can do a few more things that we couldn't do before. Uh, but we also need to go to another cave. I think... We're good in caves for the most part. Uh, actually, I think I can actually, maybe I can get that back without building that thing, although there's also that enemy there, which might be a problem. Also, as soon as they hit the water, they're not going to go anywhere, so it's, never mind, I can't do that. I should also check if I can freeze that water, maybe. But I think I've done all the other caves I wanted to do. So let's head on up to this one. Also, we can just go here, apparently. I didn't think we could just do that, but it was not showing up, so I, I but now I can, I guess, so yeah, it's fine. I thought you had to place markers first, but you know, we can just do that. So I can probably just place a marker anyway, just so I can actually know the general direction, maybe. Can I actually see, like, the marker? Yeah, I can. Interesting. It's got a beacon. Getting close to treasure. It makes a little stand if we're right next to it, so that's helpful. Not that I'm going to pick up these treasures at the moment, but yeah. I'm loving this demo so much. I can't stop. I need the full game. Up we go. Can I like... No, I can't remove that from just around. Okay. 
Aquifarious Summit. Recommended types, red and ice. Take an even number of both. Hopefully we're not going to lose more ice pigment because we need those. This place is cool. Also interesting. There's a lot of water here. Needs 10 to freeze that. I'm assuming there's gonna be more ice pigment in here to find as well. But there are, they actually froze this. So we can get across here. Oh, we'll get them in a second. Also love this, the sand. I love that. It's so good. Just so good. What did that do for me? If anything. I wonder if there are buried things, if you know what I mean. In certain locations. Or maybe it's just hydro jelly. Just sometimes places. Not already any purpose to it, possibly. Also, we would not have enough pigment for this. Or maybe it had some more pigment inside of that one. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe these jellies actually have more pigment inside of them. Because we have 55 pigment now, which I think was about as much as we got from the, the ones in the ice. Maybe not then. Oh, hello. That's something we need. I'm just wrong about this stuff, but it's fine. We're making progress. I want to see if this thing is going to yeah, the, the radar went off when we got that. That's already hot. Like, that's already 50% of the things in this dungeon. Wow. That was fast. Sub level 2. <laughs> what if it's only the rescue now? It's probably only the rescue now, isn't it? Oh, that might be a, not be a good thing. Oh, wow, this is a traveling cave, isn't it? This this is this is a path to another place. This is not a, a dungeon, it's more of a tunnel. But there is a castleway in here. Maybe there's another entrance to the cave? Like, how much extra stuff could there be? Oh, boy. Just gonna grab that. I might also want to leave some Pikmin here, but I don't know. I just don't know. I want to be careful as I go forward. Don't want to run into anything bad. And lose a whole bunch of Pikmin. Also, that head gets more uh, ice Pikmin in it. Gonna have to leave Ochi behind here. More ice Pikmin. There's a thing up there. There seems to be a lot more stuff in here than up above, but maybe it's just like maybe each floor has its own percentage and amount, and then for each floor uh, done, it's that many that much percentage collection for the whole dungeon, maybe or something. I don't know. I'm just figuring it out as I go along. More nectar. There's still more nectar. Still more nectar. Come on. There we go. Well, let's grab this. We're gonna need Ochi over here so we can actually get some of this stuff. Even that switch. How do we hit that switch without Ochi? I don't know. Also, I can just charge this, can't I? I should probably do that in the future. Maybe. Some materials. Is that how I get up there? Or am I crazy? Oh no, I can get up this way. If I just push this down. Then I can get around with Ochi. Hit that switch. I don't know how much of that's going to help me, but it's also going to allow me to get the treasure back as well, so. There's a lot of stuff around here. Also, is that just a pile of treasure? Okay. 
So that's a thing we're gonna have to deal with in the future. It's just piles of treasure to get back to the base. Please. I just wanna land on it. I know I can do other things to get it down, but still. Let's get that back. Like, I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> this is so cool. There's so many levels. Also, I could probably have just jumped up this, couldn't I? But also, there was fire, so... It didn't want me to go around that way, it just wanted me... But it, it still worked. It's fine. Let's get that back. Start building that. And get this back. There we go. There we go. Very nice. So do I need to get Ochi to the end, or will Ochi just come with me? I'm assuming Ochi's just gonna come with me, so... We're probably fine. That's cool. We actually made a slope. So I don't need to worry about losing Ochi. I thought that wasn't going to be a slope if it was going to be a climb wall, but no. We're good. Also, there's still a treasure in here, which is probably in this rock, so let's get that. Oh no, it's the uh, castaway. Well, let's see who we got this time. I think that's all the treasure, that, though. I almost said thou again. I need to practice talking or something. Dalmo from home planet Sozor. He loves animals, and they love him. A researcher at heart, his passion for other creatures is, his ge is as genuine as his smile. Ooh, that's a smile. <laughs> that's definitely a smile, right? Um, he appears to be an animal enthusiast. He must have seen the voyage log and came here looking for a new species. Luckily, we found him before he got, well, eaten. He was inside of the jelly thing, so I don't know if that's much better. How many civilians decided it'd be a good I good idea to go trespassing, tra traipsing, off to this planet? Do they think this was some kind of hot new tourist destination or something? Oh nice, that actually completely deactivates when we've completed the dungeon. Or something. That's really cool. Return to the surface. Very nice. Sparkling discovered. Still under the limit. <laughs> barely. We're still barely under the limit somehow. I'm really worried that that's just going to go up to a max at some point. I mean, I'm probably going to do it today, so I have to do my best now. Try and get everything that's left. <laughs> 